On this Christmas Day, nearly 200,000 Americans are spending their holiday away from their families and loved ones. Deployed to 177 countries, Iraq, Afghanistan, Somalia, and beyond, serving their... It's America's longest war. For the 16th year, troops are carving up a Christmas feast in Afghanistan. Captain Lachelle Bounty, a doctor, has been here for two months. Her husband and 18-month-old son home in Austin, Texas. I think it really helps to feel like there's a sense of purpose here. Um, and I feel like I, I fit into that and I have an important role to play. And so that, I think, really helps me to, to deal with the fact that I'm away from my small child and husband who I miss very much. 11,000 are stationed here. And this year, the Pentagon announced more are being deployed. Jingle bell, jingle bell. Part of an open-ended war against the Taliban and ISIS. Around the world, America's military touches nearly every country on Earth, in all seven continents, and on every sea. In hotspots like Syria, the Baltics, the Korean Peninsula. As the Pentagon puts it, threats don't take a holiday. As North Korea speeds ahead with its missile and nuclear programs, more than 28,000 American troops stand guard in the south, where a lump of coal in the stocking is a good thing. Soldiers handed out the crucial winter fuel this holiday, spreading goodwill. The soldiers from Camp Casey are really excited to come out and give uh, back to the uh, people of Dongshan to provide much needed heat during these cold winter months. In Europe, they're also working through the holiday, with reports the Pentagon plans to bolster forces in the Baltics next year to push back against Putin. <laughs> Nearly 40,000 are already deployed in Germany alone. Like private first class Crystal Arena, it's her first Christmas abroad, far from her husband and stepdaughter back in New York. Overseas, it gets a little overwhelming sometimes. Uh, the culture shock is definitely there, but I wouldn't have it any other way. In Afghanistan, troops follow traditions, carols, golf cart races, and ugly sweater contests. Americans keeping spirits bright as they serve. Thousands of cards, decorations, and even some Christmas trees were sent to far-flung bases this year, spreading some holiday cheer for all of those troops who can't be home for Christmas. Guys? Kelly Cobiea, thank you so much for that. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.